Hello and welcome back to another HitFilm tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you some different ways of animating text inside of HitFilm. Most of these methods work inside of HitFilm Express, however one of them will require HitFilm Pro as there are some effects that you can apply to text which will animate them uh, and then you have loads of customization and stuff over those effects. So the first one we're going to just look at is animating the text layer. And as you can see I've just got this new composite shot which if you just open that up you see we have a piece of text saying text and I'm just going to centre that in the middle of the frame using the layout tab. So text layers work in the same way that all of the other layers inside of HitFilm work apart from instead of it say being a plane or a piece of footage it's just the text where you can then change select text tool and then type words or characters but they have the exact same keyframing controls in the transform options. So if you wanted to create a fairly simple introductory title for something and you just want it to come into the, from the side and not be too complicated, then you could just go to the start, begin keyframing for position, then move ahead in the timeline, and then just move it into place. And then as you can see, we now have the text animate into frame. Something you could do to make your animations on text more interesting is kind of create like a nice bounce and this goes for quite a few other elements when it comes to uh, motion graphics because sometimes adding some more motion than just the needed motion looks quite nice so if we just move that across there and then a few frames later it then goes back to its original position in the middle of the frame you can see that it now shoots in and then it kind of bounces back into place. And a way that will also help this feel a bit more alive is by uh, turning on the motion blur, which then if you play through you can see that the text is blurred and that will look really nice. Something else you could do is also change the keyframe types over to being smooth, which will basically mean it eases in and eases out more realistically as to how things do in real life. So that is method number one, which is just to animate the layer. You can also animate the layer in 3D as well, so if you're not just stuck to normal 2D, you could say have the text rotate in two frames, so edit it so it flies in, and as it's flying in it's also rotating. This is just a bit of a weird example, but For example, we have this, which uh, looks quite nice actually. Um, but that was just created by animating the text layer using the normal keyframe controls. I have done a tutorial all about keyframing and I'll leave a link to that in the description below and also in the top corner, so if you want to go check that out, then you can. The second method is going to be animating each letter individually, because there isn't really a way of breaking up the text into individual letters without doing it manually. And what I've done here is I've got four text layers, each with a singular letter on, and then I've got a control point which will move them all. So if I wanted to have an overall blanket movement for the text, but then have the letters kind of move around that individually, then I could do that. This is similar to what I did in my Netflix intro tutorial, which you can also go check that out if you want. Um, and basically all you do for this, if I just turn off all of these layers, all you do is you create a new text layer and then type out the letter that you want to show. And by the way, these boxes in the background here, those are the other four uh, individual letters of text. So say if I wanted to write text again, then I'd start with the letter T and then I'd go into the text controls and then kind of configure this first letter how I want all of the other letters to be. So I could change up the height, I could then change up other settings. And then when you go down to the timeline, you, you can then just duplicate the pre-made letter, which in my case is the T, and then you can write the E, and then you can duplicate it again. And what I would recommend doing is going through and um, labeling each of these, so that then if you have lots of letters, then you can go through 
and I would also recommend if you put them in order of the word, um, because otherwise you might get confused. Because you might have multiple E's, and then it might be like, well, which E is which? And then what you want to do is just arrange these letters on the screen. So I'm just going to use the layout panel just to align them vertically. And then I'm just going to move each letter and separate them. And that looks fairly nicely centered. And then if I create a new point and just call this control, I can then select all of these layers and just parent them to this control point, which will then mean I can just move around the text as one object. Once again, you can have all of these layers be in 3D, including the point, meaning then you can animate the text in 3D as long as each of the text layers is also in 3D, otherwise it will do what you just saw here, which is kind of move it off to the side, which is a bit weird. And then what you can do is you can go to an individual letter and say if you wanted to have each letter kind of fly in randomly at your choice, then you can go to the start, do a position keyframe, move forwards by a bit, and then move it back down to where you wanted it. And then you can apply motion blur, add in some nice smooth keyframes, and then you'll have a pretty cool looking text animation. Of course this takes a lot longer than it does if you were to animate just the text as a whole because you're going to have to do an animation for each of these. You can also then use the control point to move all of the letters in 3D or just move them around and as you can see the T is still flying in from the top. Next up on our list is templates and you can access templates from by going up to the import button and then as you can see next to it there is a button that says installed templates. And if you click on this, you can see that you will already have some imported, uh, installed templates that come with the software. And as you can see, when you select multiple, it will continue to select multiple. But if you select one, and then you select import, then it will add it to your media bin, but not as a composite shot. Instead, it will be usable in the editor and compositor timelines as a text base. And as you can see, it auto comes with some text and colours, however if you open up the controls for this layer while selecting it, you then have control over the transform controls, which are standard for layers because it's a layer. Uh, then as you can see, you will have specific controls for this template, such as edit title, edit subtitle, first box, scale, second box, and scale. And as you can see, when I select edit title, it will then switch me over to the text tool, and then I can type out a different name. You can also import your own templates, which will save you time. You can also import templates to edit them. So if I just select the banners template and then I click on edit, you can see that it will actually import the banner as a composite shot. Meaning then you can go in and fully customize it uh, no matter what controls there actually are on the exported template. And then our f final method of animating text inside of HitFilm is exclusive to HitFilm Pro and that are built-in text animations. You can find them in HitFilm Pro under the Behaviors tab and then you can see that there are loads and loads of effects. And the ones that say text only next to them mean that they are for text only. Meaning that if you select one, drag and drop it onto your text, you can then see that it will then play through that animation. Then if you open up the settings you have some settings that you can play around with and animate and change. And there are loads of these. And then as you can see you can then drag and drop different text animations on and then it will create some really cool looking effects. You can then also combine them. You can create uh, text animation similar to this using some of the methods previously mentioned in this video. I have got more tutorials planned for more text animation and more just general animation inside of HitFilm stuff for motion graphics and also some other visual effects things. If you have any questions then please feel free to ask them in the comments down below and if you have a tutorial request or suggestion then also feel free to leave that in the comments. If you enjoyed this video then please leave a like and subscribe as that would be greatly appreciated. 
Hope to see you next time. Goodbye.